teenagers particularly listen one who is just yielding himself to all the demands of the organ let us eat a little let us go see it that let us hear this let us smell what is that so you become one the dog smelling everything whatever that is cooked on the table that is the method of knowing whether what cooked is do you do you want this dal first he eats with the nose is only animal to smelling tasting touching the sense organs clack and you just let go and it turn to realm of endless dissipation you allow your mind to just go astray in whatever the sense organs are demanding his prajna his consciousness his wisdom is hadadi mooted away he will have no direction of purpose just as why you the winds now the boat or the ship ambasi in the ocean suppose in the ocean there is a, uh, a sailing ship in those days it was sailing ship there the captain died nobody to hold the helm and give it a direction give the ship any time But it is there at the open sea, and the sails are there. Therefore, according to the winds of the winds that are flying there, if the wind is northward, the ship goes northward. If the wind changes to southward, the ship comes to southward, or eastward or westward. Here, hither, and thither he goes about, no intelligence about the movement, no purposefulness. No special goal to be arrived at the bridge. If that be so, we can make use of the wind power and give it a direction. The helmsman with his intelligence and technology, he directs the ship, and the ship reaches the harbor, a destination. Similarly, a man who allows his sense organs. A mastery over himself. The captain, the mind and intellect, is not giving it a purposeful direction, not to the left but to the right, until it reaches that destination. You yield yourself to whatever the body or the sense organs demand. Then your personality, vitality, gets dissipated. The mind and intellect become agitated. It knows no peace of quietude. They are only contemplative. A contemplative power in you. You have no capacity to apply your mind to any problem. And such an individual has neither the worldly success nor inner peace. He knows not. He is an utter wreck. He has come into this world. He survives. Biologically, he survives. He can eat any amount of food and digest them efficiently. Congratulations! And he is within three hours. He is ready for the next meal or go. That's physically there with no mind at all. A water buffalo is the form of a human being. It's such a like a ship on the open sea. With nobody to guide and direct it, and the wheel, the captain of the wheel, dead. That ship has no chance. Well, you have one percent chance of arriving after all safety of the harbor, but tossed in the air, it gets wrecked in some unknown rock. So too, his life gets foundered in the high seas of life.